MTD are often out on the road and a lot of the time we're hearing that engineers are looking for the unmanned run. Now look no further than the HX250 IG machine from Kitamura. This is a twin pallet horizontal machine with a pallet pull. Now Paul, what are your thoughts on horizontals versus vertical machining centres? We talk about it a lot and I think if you look at the UK market compared to overseas, uh, not just Europe but, but the States, um, percentage wise, in amongst engineering companies, there's a lot less horizontals here than there are there. Um, and quite frankly, that needs to be addressed because if you look at a machine like this, and we'll talk about some of the elements of the machine, but the, the fact that you can have a, a pallet system here, a pallet pool here, uh, the, the spindle continually turning, the machine is more efficient, um, mm -hmm. which means you need, as you said, you know, the unmanned run, you don't need a man around, but the footprint that you're getting the efficiency out of is far smaller than stacking three or four or five verticals. That's just one side of the argument. The other is the fact that you can attack more operations at once. Absolutely, and we'll go into that a little bit in a little bit more detail. But also, during the current climate that we're in, a lot of people are trying to reduce labour from certain situations because of the COVID-19 situation and space people apart. Less people working on the machines, but the machines doing more. Yeah, absolutely. And the important thing is when you're doing what we're talking about, you need to know that, let's say both bits of hardware, although it is one integrated solution, are reliable enough to cope with the demands from the other. So, for example, this is, this is one machine with a pallet solution on it. Um, you know, the hardware is one, really. And the fact that you've got the, the Kitamura geometric accuracy, the speed, all of those things mean that you get parts quickly but reliably which is important you don't want to go and do an unmanned run and come in in the morning and the machine stopped halfway through the night of course defeats the object entirely mm. so i think the kitamura is a machine that there's no guarantees but when it comes to its reliability it's up there with the best yeah and of course just to make note to that you can retrofit the pallet pull onto a current kitamura that you have right let's talk about this particular machine um it's a solid machine it's a solid machine it's a box guideway machine the kitamura machines are the uh the fastest machines within industry built on a box guideway construction this operates up to 60 meters a minute in its axis movement and um, you've got a full b axis on this machine which can rotate up to 300 rpm so you could turn uh, arguably you could turn on oh, here wow. as well as mill um, and the spindle on this is a i think it's a 15,000 bbt 30. so it's a very fast machine um, it's quite nimble but it's solid uh, you know it's stable it's all those things that you'd want no growth and stuff like that because all that needs to be controlled in, a, in an unmanned working environment so explain the machine to me um, in terms of logistics you're going to put a part in where where, where does it begin so it's, what we've got here is our loading station and this is where we're going to load you can see on the scale here, 350 mil diameter by 400 mil high up to 100 kilos wow you do all your loading here this is where this is where the operator is involved then of course you've got your machining um, envelope area where the parts are machined and you'd have a, a cube or a tombstone in there. You might have five, 10, 20 components. So if you've got like 20 components and then you've got 10 pallets, you're talking about 200 parts. Correct, and they don't all have to be the same. I mean, you could have a pallet where you've got one larger component made out of Inconel for the aerospace industry. Your next pallet might be, you know, uh, 20 components for the medical sector. The next might be general machining for- Different materials. Joe Bloggs down the road, different materials wow. that require different tooling. Um, which then would take me on to the tool and you've got 102 tools in the machine so you can tool up to accommodate the needs of all of the pallets. Right, okay. And this machine, it's readily available? Readily available here. Um, from, I mean, Dugard have been representing Kitamura now for around about two years and they've had some real success, many installations, not just on horizontals like this, but five axis and verticals as well. Um, you know, of course, the machines come with all the warranty and the training that, that you would expect. But I think when you look at this machine, you look at the footprint, you look at the eight pallet stations on here, yeah. what the machine's capable of internally, and then we have the software which I know you'll probably just touch on briefly. Yeah well it's industry 4.0 so it's monitoring the machine so you could be in Barbados for all we know but you could be knowing that your machines are working, the downtime, the uptime and you've got all that information. And that's the critical part, efficiency is about what this solution is about, it's making your machine shop as efficient as possible, readdressing um, how you make components and this machine here is available from stock and there is some serious discounts on Kitamura machines including this one uh, here from Dugard. You should visit their website at dugard.com.